would like to say a few words? Hi, my name is Mona Mametska. No, I can't talk. No, I don't. I've had the honor to know Michael and Jerry for a very long time. Um, and for those um, who may have heard the story before, my first introduction to Michael and Jerry was my very first oh. semester here at UAS. And the three of us happened to be in a um, statistics, Dave Riome statistics class. <laughs> what the groans? What the groans? And how this worked is this gentleman would walk scraggly hair, t-shirt, jeans, and a coffee mug. No book, no notebook, nothing. He just walked in, sat down, and alongside him was this nice lady who came prepared, always took notes. <laughs> and what I, all I could think of was, yeah, she's taking notes for him. Yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> well, as it turns out, he's just absolutely incredible. Um, I have to pull out some notes. I'm sorry I'm not as um, you know, uh, smooth as everybody else that's gone before me. And so, sorry. I'm doing great. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> we were students together. We were. <laughs> and so I received this uh, email from um, Angie asking, would you be willing to talk a little bit about Michael's long history with you know, IT or say something funny? <laughs> okay. I can do that. But how do you distill 40 years of service into just a few minutes here? And how do you honor somebody who has given so much to this institution and who has touched so many lives? And so I was, I was thinking about this. I was thinking, what kind of words come to mind? And I was like, hmm, veteran, legend, <laughs> company man, right? goat for those that are in the sports area, all right? And so what ended up coming to mind was um, obviously the spirit of UAS, but really the word that I've been using the most in the last year has been a unicorn. He's a very absolute special creature with amazing talents that has touched so many people. And so the thing is, he wasn't born this way. <laughs> But, be, but because of his endless capacity, he has continued to grow and prosper and um, really become the amazing executive and colleague that he is today. And so in the beginning, we hear that man create, a God created man. And in 1986, this gentleman embarked on his professional career at UAS, UA86. Now, I got to look up a few things. What else was going on in 86? And so in 86, the Phantom of the Opera debuted. <laughs> and the Oprah Winfrey show started. Gas, 89 cents a gallon. And for the technologists in the room, there was a protocol, it's called IMAP, the Internet Mail Access Protocol, which we use to grab mail off servers that was invented in 1986. Wow. Okay, so now, yeah, that's, <laughs> 1994 was when I began my professional pathway with Michael, and I've been with him ever since. Crazy thoughts. <laughs> now, I'm gonna take you a little bit back to the things that Michael was known for in the early years. Things like, no sense of time. <laughs> and so, he would often be late to meetings, forget meetings, because oftentimes he was so engrossed with helping somebody or in a meeting, another meeting that just went over that he, he would just forget. Or we would be working on a project and he goes, okay, this will take three, three hours to reconfigure and eight hours later, we're still working on it. <laughs> His fashion sense. Oh. <laughs> Blue jeans, flannel, and so I had to wear my flannel today, right? Uh, T-shirts. And, and now, look at how polished you are. <laughs> <laughs> 
He also talked a lot. <laughs> that hasn't changed. <laughs> he was coined the mouth of the South. <laughs> and like now, his passion back then was as immense as ever. Like just, he attended so many activities and participated in so many events and he was, he was just so passionate and loved this place so much. Now, we can't talk about Michael without talking about some of the technologies that he was a part of. And to be honest, I'm not particularly good at timelines or like d details, but things that we use today that we take for granted, he designed and architected for our campus. That includes things like our data network that we use every day, our wireless network, um, what else do we have? Oh, you've led so many successful in implementations. And if anyone here remember, knows and has used Elmo, mm -hmm. he designed that for UAS, and it was adopted UA-wide as the account and password reset system. Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And then we were going through things and we go, we, we were finding code and programs that have been, were written, we still use today, that were written over 20 years ago. And that's pretty impactful. So then the question is, well, why, you know, why has Michael been so successful? And a lot of it has to do, one, with his, I don't know, endless capacity to change, learn, and grow. Um, to see where he started as a high school dropout to where he is now, and to watch him go through different you know, stages of change as a professional going from flannel and jeans, starting to wear like, you know, collared shirts and ties and taking flack from some of our colleagues in our office for it. And he's like, <laughs> don't care. This is my pathway. This is where I'm going and this is what I need to do. And I, th and I think the other thing that has been tremendous about Michael through all the years is his belief and faith in the people around him. And so I can honestly speak for myself that um, I'm going to be following in their footsteps <laughs> um, and following their pathway um, thanks to the impact that both Michael and Jerry have had. And so that's the other success piece to Michael is Jerry. <laughs> the absolute anchor. She has put up with so much over the years. <laughs> and, she, and the two of them together have had not just an impact on this campus, but on me personally. I know how to drive thanks to Michael. <laughs> I can scrapbook thanks to Jerry. <laughs> I have so many skills, but really I have a lifetime of, of friendship with these two. And I just want to thank you so much. And um, I wish you all the very best in your retirement. And like I said, I'm following your coattails. I'm coming in right after you. <laughs> thank you.